everyone, I am your astrologer, Wonder Girl, taking you to new heights. Here's your daily horoscope for the day of Monday, March 5th, 2018. Now before I get started, I just have one message that I normally do have in my Monday video. <laughs> I do have your weekly horoscopes. They are coming soon. It just may take me a little bit more time to edit them and to get them up, okay? So be on the lookout for those. This horoscope was a little bit different, I like to think, um, because the beginning of the week is so much different than the end of the week. I feel like the beginning of this week starts out very hazy, maybe a little bit confusing and, and kind of slow, and then the end of the week, the weekend, picks up a lot of action a lot of motivation things happening very fast very unexpectedly and so it was a little bit of a challenge for me with mercury uh and pisces here to to communicate that to you but i hope it comes across uh, in my videos and that you get the message all right so be on the lookout for that <laughs> now for your horoscope what we've got going on at the very end of yesterday and into today is the moon hanging out here in libra okay right where this is and that brings our attention to um our relationships the other people in our life also to assessing our life to seeing what we've been doing in life and is it right or wrong <laughs> also to trying to find the balance in our life in some way okay so that's what we were thinking about at midnight the moon in libra was making an opposition here to uranus and aries so there could have been some unexpected things that came up late yesterday and into today i think what was going on <laughs> excuse me my <laughs> My throat made a little noise, um, but I think there were some things that were maybe going on late last night uh, here. Maybe we were doing things with other people. Maybe we were trying to assess our life and to figure out what we needed to do next. And maybe we felt like there was something inside us that was missing or something about our identity and about who we are that we needed to bring more into our plans for the future, that we needed to integrate more into our life, more into our relationships in some way. And I think that's what we were trying to do and figure out at the end of yesterday is how we could work with the other people in our life. <laughs> and how we could understand better what's going on in our life and where we need to go next, but how we could do it in a way that resonates more with us authentically and incorporates more of our authentic and true being here uh, moving forward so that we don't feel like we're being neglected, so that we don't feel like we're being caged in uh, by our life and by other people and so we don't feel like something was missing, all right? So that's what was going on there at midnight. Then at 6 a.m., after we've got this going on, mountain time, the moon then moves into Scorpio where you see it right here in the chart, okay? And what that brings our attention to with the moon in Scorpio is getting deeper with these relationships. We have relationships that we started uh, in Libra. Scorpio says, okay, now how can you get messier with these relationships? How can you get under the skin of other people <laughs> to figure out what they're thinking, what they're feeling, what's going on there? The moon in Scorpio also requires you to get underneath your own skin to figure out what's going on deeply down inside you as well so that you can move forward. And I think that's what we start to think about at 6 a.m., okay? Is now that we've tried to work with other people and we know what what we need to feel more authentic in our relationships with others. How do we start to negotiate with people and with ourselves um, more deeply so that we can actually start to create the life, create the relationships that really resonate with us inside, <laughs> okay? Um, going on. The eighth house too also does rule change and transformation. Sorry, Scorpio, which is the natural ruler of the eighth house, also rules change and transformation as well. So there can also be a lot of that that comes in. Now that we know what we need to feel more authentic in our relationships and to feel more authentic maybe in some of our plans that we're making, how do we change our life and change our relationships to incorporate those things that it is that we need on the inside? <laughs> All right. So that's what's going on there. <laughs> now I just got to pick my pen up really quick. I dropped it <laughs> while I was talking. <laughs> I throw this thing around sometimes. <laughs> All right. So that's what's happening there at 6 a.m. The moon, after this happens in the morning, is not gonna do a thing until seven o'clock at night mountain time. So what is that, 12 hours? If the moon's not gonna do anything. That can be a good thing sometimes because it can give us a chance to rest, but it can also be a bad thing because a lot of times we don't, we aren't the most productive when the moon's not doing much. So just keep that in mind <laughs> that maybe there's not much work that will be done in between 6 a.m. and 7 p.m. and to not be too worried if you're focused more on internal matters, all right? So that's happening there. Then at 7 p.m. at night, mountain time, the moon moves through Scorpio and makes a sextile over here to Saturn and Capricorn. And what goes on then 
is that after spending most of the day here figuring out what's going on inside you and what's going on with other people and how you can change your life to do more of what you want in this inside and to partner better with other people coming in, I think then at seven o'clock at night, you start to feel much better about where your life is going. You start to maybe make the changes that you've been thinking about all day in order to step into a life you really want, to, to put your life in a better spot, to just feel better about your reputation and where things are, are going here, okay? Um, so I do see actually 7 p.m. at night being very very positive for us to understand what we've been feeling on the inside and to honor it especially if we've been doing the work for most of the day to figure out what we're feeling inside <laughs> or to let ourselves if it's work may not be the right word but to let ourselves deal with what's going on <laughs> I think if we can let ourselves deal with what's going on inside us here for most of the day, then right, at 7 p.m. we're gonna have a really big opportunity to start to feel better about all of that. <laughs> feel better about what's going on inside us and to use these realizations to help us move forward, okay? Sorry, I feel like this is my whole night. I'm trying to say really simple things <laughs> and I just end up using lots of words. Um, but that's happening there. Uh, then after that happens, um, the moon just hangs out until tomorrow morning. Um, and when tomorrow morning, I want to say around three or four mountain time in the morning, the moon is then going to make a trine over here to the sun and Neptune. I think really helping us to get again, more of a handle on our emotions, more of a handle on what we're feeling on the inside, what it all means, um, how we can start to feel better to overcome some things from the past and to change our life in more of a positive way. I think, um, to do some things we need to do. So I do see the end of the day being very positive in a lot of ways. I think it's just in the middle of the day here, us maybe feeling a little aimless, not really knowing we have so many deep feelings come up. We have so many changes we want to make in our life. We have maybe so many things going on with relationships. We want to partner with other people in a way that's more authentic. And I think that can be just a little bit hard for us to deal with. But if you let yourself <laughs> deal with these issues and not be afraid, if some hard things come up during the day I think it's gonna be fine at the night time because it's gonna give you that insight and it's gonna give you that that motivation to do what you need to start to make progress once again doing more of what really resonates with you authentically okay so that's what I see there other things going on uh, in the background, we've got the sun in a conjunction with Neptune. Again, could bring up lots of confusion here about <laughs> overall, about your life, about what you want inside, about what's important to you, about the past, things coming back from the past that you have to deal with. But again, could also bring lots of insight and lots of creativity. Okay, we also do have Venus and uh, Mercury on top of Chiron, bringing up a lot of hurt feelings here about relationships, about money, um, and maybe some hard conversations too coming in. So I don't know, I don't know how much insights we're going to be getting because I feel like we're feeling so uncomfortable in the process. So I think that's a hard thing. We're trying to get clarity on our life, but we're not feeling quite right here and trying to balance that. Maybe most of the clarity that we're going to be getting in our life as a result of all of this is going to be a result of some pain points. <laughs> Maybe it's the uncomfortable feelings that we're having that are motivating us to get the clarity. So I don't know if there's something like that going on. Um, today and this week, but I definitely think confusion about what's going on inside you, about where you need to go next, about how we can overcome the past, and again, it just not feeling quite right with relationships and money. Okay, so that happening there, and then Mars slowly, but it not won't happen until the end of the week, coming in a trine here uh, with Uranus as well, really helping us to do something new that we have not done before to move forward, to find more passion and excitement in our life. But a lot of that passion and a lot of that excitement and a lot of that new stuff that we're going to find towards the end of this week that I talk about in your weeklies, being dependent on you first clearing out all of the junk uh, at the beginning of the week, clearing out all the junk from the past, clearing out all of this confusion so that you can finally start to move forward feeling much better and much more excited about what's going on. And that's what's happening in Pisces. We're trying to get over an old lifestyle, get over some old habits, get over some old things that aren't working. So at the end of the week, we can do something new we need to do and move forward. All right. So that's what I'll leave you with there. Now your horoscope, your tarot card, excuse me, for the um, 
for the day is the 10. It's the 10 of pentacles reversed. This card is about things not working out. I always see this card as the empire building the, um, the empire. It's not there yet today. I think things may be a little chaotic, maybe feeling like you don't have your life in order, your finances in order. You don't have a lot of stability that it is that you want, especially with the moon in Scorpio where it doesn't like to be, you know, because the moon likes to be in Taurus, a super secure sign. Taurus is the sign of stability, of income, of your possessions, of the things that you own. And Scorpio is the sign of the things you have to loan out to other people. <laughs> you have to give out to others coming in. And so I think we could feel like we don't have that stability we want. Like the carpet's been tugged out a little bit from under us uh, coming in, especially with all this Pisces stuff going on. And I think you got to figure out here... <laughs> I just had an image of a magic carpet ride. <laughs> you gotta figure out how to ride the carpet <laughs> um, and how to not be afraid if things in your life aren't coming together. You know, I think that if things aren't working out in some way, there's a reason for it. There's something else that's supposed to come. There's something else we're supposed to build on. There's something else we're supposed to create. And I think that's what you need to do today is if nothing's working for you, if there's lots of change going on, maybe to listen to what you really want listen to what's really in your soul and what's calling you um, to help you build something even more stable later on okay I hope that makes sense you know to just not worry if things are not quite feeling like you want them to be if you don't quite feel like you're at the top of your pack I think there's still time and I think there's still stuff you need to work out and I think the way that you work out this stuff is by not being afraid with the moon and Scorpio here to deal with the hard stuff and to get messy with other people before things can start getting better all right that's what I've got for you thank you so much for watching my horoscope if you like it please like it on YouTube subscribe to my channel share it with your friends and I will talk to you later Thank you.